This is Glenda Lakin with WAMDA. I'm here with Niall Salam, founder and CEO of Elevision in Dubai. Thanks for speaking with WAMDA. Thanks for having me, Glenn. Could you tell us what Elevision is, what you guys are working on? Elevision is a digital media company. Uh, we, we sort of specialize in, I guess you could call it elevator broadcasting. Uh, we install, uh, service and maintain a digital network of screens uh, located in commercial and residential buildings throughout the UAE. So where did the idea come from? How did you come up with uh, this new idea? Uh, you know, it's, it, it's, a, it's a very popular uh, uh, idea, well established in, in America and Canada, uh, in Australia. Um, it's, you know, in, in many of the buildings in Vancouver where I'm from originally. And, you know, I just, uh, you know, I've been out here for a few years now. I'd actually been back uh, in Vancouver. And one of the elevators, uh, or one of the buildings that I was in had them. I was staying in that building for about three weeks. You know, was, enjoyed it, enjoyed the service, you know, really liked the news content that they were providing. I uh, got back to Dubai, and I actually, in just one day, I think it was two or three days back, um, caught myself kind of instinctively looking up to where the screen was positioned, uh, you know, in the lift in Vancouver, and realized, well, wait a second, there's nothing here, and thought, you know, why? There must be, there, you know, there's got to be other, you know, it's got to be happening here. This is an uber successful model uh, elsewhere. Uh, started to do some research, literally, you know, hopped in my car, drove around to various different buildings in the marina and, and Sheikh Zayed Road, you know, determined that nobody was doing it here and sort of that's where it started, you know, began with, you know, some due diligence, some market research, you know, of the models that were being done in the West um, and here we are today. Can you explain the business model a bit? How do you monetize? Do you charge buildings to install? No, we, we don't charge buildings to install and I think that's really, you know, what, uh, you know, attracts Elevision to, to the property owners. Uh, we install the service, we maintain it uh, absolutely free of charge to the buildings. Um, you know, they, they use our screens as a tenant communication device. So it really enhances the building in that, you know, there's no need anymore to, you know, post those unsightly sort of paper memos that you see stuck all over the place saying, you know, window washing on Tuesday, for example. Um, so it's a very effective uh, tenant communication for them. They have, they have access to our online portal uh, so they just, you know, they log into our portal, uh, enter their password, their login codes, and then they can directly input their messages, you know, press send, and then it automatically gets, uh, you know, gets uploaded to, the, to every screen and every lift. Okay, so what sort of content appears on the screens and how do you manage that content? So we, right now we sort of have a, we use a split screen technology and we sort of have three screen zones. Uh, so at all times on the screen, there's uh, advertisements which take up about 60% of the screen, the main portion of the screen. Uh, then on the bottom portion, we run news content. Now this is, you know, entertainment news, sports news, uh, you know, anything relevant that sort of has a sticky factor. Uh, and then integrated into that news is also where the building managers uh, broadcast their news as well. And then we have sort of a multi-purpose um, zone on the screen that we use for uh, Twitter, you know, various different buildings and, and property partners like the DIFC uh, that we're partnered with are very active on Twitter and this is how they like to communicate with, uh, you know, with their community. So, you know, there's various different ways that uh, we use the screen. It's all um, done on a wireless network. So we run on a 3G system and uh, again, everything is, uh, you know, is, is in near real time and it's managed centrally from our office here in Media City. Okay, so are the screens fairly customizable for each building? They are, yes. You know, it's, um, you know, they're run essentially on a PC. So, I mean, anything you can really uh, you know, envisage doing on a computer, uh, we can do on the screens in the elevator. So can you explain the ad revenue model um, and how it works with your company? Sure. Uh, you know, the way we monetize uh, the screens or the network uh, is that we sell space on the screens to advertisers. Uh, you know, the nature of the elevator is, is the, really the perfect location for advertisers to, to reach the consumer. Um, you know, you have the captive audience effect. Uh, you know, people in the elevator are generally a bit shy. Uh, nobody really likes to interact with each other, and uh, they they really actually welcome something to be able to focus their eyes on in an area and in a, in a place where there's very high repeat uh, impressions. Um, you know, the average uh, building occupant, whether it's residential uh, or or commercial, uses the lift. You know, on average, six times a day. Um, so you know, there's a lot of dwell time in front of the screens. With us, they can actually talk to uh, talk to the consumer.
you know, they can, they can, like I said, put different messages up throughout, even throughout the day. I mean, we can drill down where an advertiser can change the message on an hourly basis if they want to. Something in the morning, you know, something in the afternoon, and then something again uh, different uh, in the evening when they're leaving work or coming home at night. So, you know, we believe that uh, the advertising model is, uh, is strong and it's, uh, it's fairly compelling to, uh, to brands to, uh, to get on board with us. Okay, so how many buildings do you have signed up so far? Uh, we have a total of 35 buildings uh, signed up so far. We'll have all of them, you know, live and online up and running by the end of, uh, well, I say by mid-January. Um, and we've got, you know, we're, we're nearing uh, contract uh, signings with about, I think it's another 36 buildings. Unfortunately, I, you know, I can't announce just which ones those are yet, uh, but they're in the pipeline and, um, you know, we're hoping to get those done here in the, in the coming weeks. So, you know, post... Um, Post January, we could be you know we could be upwards of 70, 75 buildings. Okay. Do you have any other competition in Dubai doing a similar project? No, nobody. Uh, nobody at this time is uh, is in the elevators and, and running a, a media network inside the elevators. And um, you know, as we as we grow, as we ex expand, um, you know, we create more and more barriers to entry. Um, you know, once we have those buildings and, and they're they're part of our network, um, they're sort of off the table for any competitor to come in and, and swoop up. Okay, great. So do you have any plans to expand outside of Dubai or out of the UAE? We do, certainly. Yeah, We'll, we'll be moving into, uh, into Abu Dhabi, uh, you know, early Q1 next year. Uh, so, you know, February, March, we'll start making our moves into Abu Dhabi. And then depending on how quickly, uh, you know, we penetrate uh, into Abu Dhabi, you know, then we'll start looking at uh, Saudi Arabia and Qatar as well. And we've already been planting seeds there um, and, and just waiting to sort of make, uh, make the big moves. Well, great. Thanks for speaking with Wamda Nile. No problem. My pleasure. Thanks for having me, Glenn. Sure. Best of luck. Thanks. Bye-bye.